going on? We have another video about Pillow the Parakeet, or Pillow the Budgie as some of you prefer. And before we get into that, I just want to remind you to check out our other channel, our family vlog, Kevin and Krista. It's down below, it's linked, it's all... There's links. It's all there, yeah. yeah. It's purely a family vlogging channel, but Pillow does make an appearance there sometimes, so... He's part of the family. He's Because he's <laughs> part of the family. So if you're interested in any more content from us in a family vlogging sphere, just click subscribe on that channel below. So we went to PetSmart, not the other one. Not Petco. <laughs> to buy some more food for uh, Pillow. Cheapy. For Cheapy, Cheapy yeah. AKA Pillow. <laughs> Um, and what we're trying to do is actually switch him over. We've got so many comments that seeds are not the healthiest thing. They're pretty, you know, heavy fat content for parakeets. So we're trying to switch him over to pellets. But it's a process you actually have to start and go gradually. So we actually bought some pellets. So we bought those pellets and we're going to start with one small scoop with the rest of his current seed blend mm -hmm. uh, and then slowly start to wean him off seeds and make more and more pellets part of his diets until he's eating all pellets and then just has seeds for treats uh, like spray millet which we also bought some spray millet for him which he really loves. And we got something new here. What are these things? Okay they're called tropical fruit nutri berries. They're like little seed cluster things. These will just be for treats once in a while, but it says there's all the nutrition of pellets plus all the benefits and fun of foraging. <laughs> I guess foraging is fun for them. I'm Which not it really is. That's why we put the the uh, millet inside these little balls over here. Oh yeah. We put actual millet inside here so that he can actually just kind of poke his head in and try to eat the millet inside there. So sort of a foraging game for him. So I guess maybe we'll have to put those little balls somewhere where he can forage for them. I guess so, or give them, you know, give them to him by hand as a treat or something. Yeah. I don't know. Anyway, so just something once in a while for a, for a little treat. Right. But the reason we haven't switched over to pellets yet, and maybe you all can fill us in on this, we have heard that that parakeets obviously prefer seeds over pellets, uh, but we have heard that some parakeets will actually like starve themselves rather than eat pellets. If they don't like the pellets, you know, like most creatures, you have dogs and right. children and other things, you know, it's like you only provide them the food you want them to eat, pretty soon they'll get hungry enough and they'll eat it. But we've heard that sometimes parakeets will actually starve themselves rather than eat this food they don't want to eat. And of course we didn't want that to happen. Right. I don't even know how we would know if he was like rapidly losing weight. You know, he's got all these feathers and everything. Right. like. You know, I mean, most animals or people or whatever, they lose a lot of weight, it's really obvious, but you know, we wouldn't even know per se with the with the parakeet. And so we just certainly don't want him just being hungry day after day, um, just because he refuses to eat. And in this current seed mix, um, there's actually pellets in there. The thing is though, he just will eat around them. He, yeah. He won't eat them and he eats all the seed and then when it's just nothing but pellets and shells left, he just kind of bugs us to feed him again. Right, and so, so we just end up giving him more seeds and we actually save all the pellets and all the stuff that he hasn't eaten. We actually have dumped all into a Tupperware. So you have, we have basically a Tupperware full of pellets and a couple of these other little little fruit chunks and things like right. that that he doesn't like because I don't want to just throw it away. Right, so we're hoping that if we start to put more and more pellets in the food dish, he'll start to be forced to eat them and not starve himself and not, but we just we yeah, just don't want to we don't want him just being hungry all the right. time because he refuses to eat and we do give him this broccoli and his other sure. little vegetables and stuff like that so it's not like he's going to go hungry but sure. you can imagine if all you're eating is broccoli maybe that's not the most satisfying diet right well we put know. fruit out for him a little bit and you know to get him to eat it we put some seeds on it like a banana slice and throw those 
bit of seeds on it. He doesn't tend to eat that much of the fruit and stuff. We feel like we're throwing away a lot of it. I mean, it's fine. Yeah. You're gonna do that with the bird, I think. Mm -hmm. But we just wanna know if he's actually getting the nutrition of the fruits that we're putting there as opposed to just picking around it. And, right, now, honestly, yeah. the only thing I've really seen him eat on any sort of regular basis is the broccoli, broccoli which yeah. is why I just keep giving him that. Um, he even has a little fruit block that we've tied up next to one of his perches. Well, that's the mineral block. The mineral block, yeah. oh, but there's fruit inside it. I think it's fruit flavor. Oh yeah, oh, all yeah, the, the way the inside. Yeah, the package says they'll they'll eat the minerals to get to the fruit inside. I'm like, but how do they know there's fruit inside? Right. Like, you know, unless obviously, if it's, you know, if they had it before, maybe they know. Sure. But if it's the first one, he really hasn't showed much much interest in it. But yeah, if you guys have any tips on how to get your birds to switch food diets in terms mm -hmm. of like switching over to a pellet diet other than you know slowly introducing more and more pellets and reducing the amount of the other food mm -hmm. and or getting them to eat fruits other than just like leaving them in there constantly and just hoping that at some point they'll get curious enough or bored enough or hungry enough that he'll eat some of that stuff right and uh, again we'd love to hear it so yeah and again we have no problem like just you know cut eventually cutting out the seeds completely we just right. don't want him to be one of these birds that supposedly will starve themselves rather than eat nasty old pellets right so yeah if you guys have any tips on how to switch over your bird uh from a seed based diet to something else including for, or get them to try new fresh fruits and vegetables or what does what do your parakeets like like to eat specifically we'd love to hear about it please leave it in the comments below so we can learn from you guys i put these two extra ones because 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 they're not i don't know how to put the, those two in this this are okay so I put them in here instead. Yeah, so there's, cause there's not, he has his other new toys in there right now. Yeah, so there's he has some, four. Four, he has, yeah. right, he has four toys there now. And this one's on the outside with the millet in it. And so you added some extra toys over here. This is really good. Look how you hung these up here. This is really, really smart. It's a perfect height. Cause he can get the bell and he can, he can stand on the little perch and chew on the thing. Do that and do this. Yeah, that was very, very and smart. And I also put this here. Yeah, look at that. And he can sit in his little swing and again, he can be down here and play with the bell. And that was really good, you. So Pillow has been using his new jungle gym a little bit. I haven't seen him crawling too much on like climbing the ladders and stuff yet, but he's definitely been sitting on the rope perch. And we're hoping now that Brendan's hung some of these new toys on there, maybe he'll want even more to go over there and and explore it and check things out. What are you doing now? You're giving him some carpet? Yeah. Okay. Okay, that's it for this time. Thanks for watching. Again, we'd love to hear your tips on your parakeet's diet, what kind of foods they like, and how you got them to eat pellets, if you did. Yep. And we will see you next time. Bye-bye-bye.